this two process. Sorry, where is that? Yeah, this two. So key in, value in, key out, value out. So the key out, value out is the output for the mapper. This will be picked up by sort and shuffle. Okay, and sort and shuffle creates exactly the same key in and a, sorry, the key out and the value out kind of a pairing. And that exactly is what being picked up by our reducer process, which is nothing but, see, this is my key in and value in. Okay, and this also emits key out and value out, which is nothing but I'm going to write my end output. This is what key out and value out for me. Okay, so is that process clear? I mean, just want to make sure I'm not repeating stuff or, or just wasting time, something which you already know. That key out, key in, value in, key out, value out process is clear with everyone? Or someone needs more clarity on that? No issues, even, even one of you guys need it. Uh, we have to. It's okay. So let's do one thing. Let's finish off that, that part of it, that program part, how exactly we need to execute and what are the components. And then in case we are not clear with it, we can come back and revisit it again. All right. So at the end of it, we need to make sure we are, we know what exactly is the process. Okay. So what exactly is happening now? I have my file, which is, let's open it for the time being. Okay. Let's, let's do this for the time being. Okay. This is my input file. Minimize it. Okay. And where is my program now? This is my program. Okay. So, and this is the, this is my input file. So what is happening going to happen? This is my text input format. What I'm going to play over here with this, the text input format. I have multiple input format. I can have binary input format. I can have DB input format, but the most commonly used stuff is the text input format. So which is used for processing the text data. Okay. So this is my text input format. What I'm going to play around with now. Okay. So here, what is happening? Each line, each line over here is treated as one single row is treated as one single line for me. Okay, by the text input format. Okay, so this, whenever I write a logic in a mapper, I just need to consider this one single line. How exactly this one single line and the framework, the Hadoop framework itself is going to do exactly the similar kind of a pattern for the remaining lines. Okay, so when I'm going to write a program, just consider one single line, how, how I need to treat this one single line. So basically what I need to do, so if I take this data in, let me open a new window. So if this is my data, so what should be my intention? Read the first line. So that's what exactly I need to tell the program. Read the first line. Okay. And then separate this using what, whenever you see a tab, make sure you are. So the moment I see a tab, I'm just going to put an enter. Okay. Here also, the moment I see a tab, I just need to put an enter. The moment I see a tab, enter Madla. What I'm trying to say is the moment I see a tab, just make it as a separate array. That's what I'm asking, asking my mapper program to do. Make it separate array of it. So basically I got an array which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven lines. And then what I'm going to tell, I need to tell based on my program, keep assigning one to it. Keep assigning one to it. Okay. So wherever you you created a string of array, just assign one value one to every of those data that you created, right? That's exactly the instruction which I'm going to give him. Okay. Just assign one to it. Okay. This is all by what my mapper does. So what did we say? Let's, let's go back, replay the situation all. Okay. Control Z, right? Control Z. Okay. Oh, it, it piped away the entire stuff. Uh, so how exactly we had the data? So we had the data entire over here. And then one by one, we, we cut it short into one by one, different, different words based on the tab, whenever it sees a tab. Okay. And then we kept on assigning one to it. Now let's look at the logic. Okay. So what I did, this is my key in. Okay. Now what we, one more thing, what we need to understand, this is my key in. Okay. This entire data is key in. But when I need to write logic, I just need to consider only my first line. I'm going to write logic only for this first line. The remaining lines, Hadoop framework is going to automatically do exactly the same thing what you did for your first line. That's taken care of by the program itself. So see that easy this. Okay. So what it did, picked up the first line, the entire line, 
and that is going to go inside where it's going to go inside my text okay and when i say key in and value in text input format typically behaves in this way now i'm taking the entire data and putting it over here okay control a control b okay so how exactly text input format behaves is 0001 okay and then then do a additional spacing that i'm i'm doing an additional spacing over here 000 sorry 0020 this is nothing but byte address for me which is there every beginning of this lines there is actually a default byte address available right that's how exactly it recognizes where exa exactly my data is present so 0060 okay this may not be the actual value i'm just trying to simulate what is it, it might be like some 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 i mean too many zeros and then some one and after that too many eight or nine zeros and then ten so just for our ease of understanding we are, i'm just going to make it as this value okay zero zero eight zero let's pick it up only till that let's remove the remaining stuff so this is how exactly my data will be picked up by the mapper okay so mapper this is nothing but a long writable and that long writable is going to take this byte address okay this is my key now and my value is going to pick up the entire row as a value over here and that is nothing but my text now okay and this too is the input and now it's going to do the processing how exactly it's going to do the processing is what you're going to see okay so this long writable directly came in where in my map function so i do have a mapper class and i do have a map function so it's going to take this long writable okay and this text as an input and then i don't have anything to do with this byte address over here right i don't i mean this is no way going to come in picture i am only interested in this this guy right so this guy i need to take him and then cut split him based on the tab whenever a tab appears so that's exactly what i'm going to do so that see over here so in the map functions long writable key text value context dot i mean context context this is nothing but a buffer for me okay just a buffer once i'm doing all this processing from this key and value what i'm going to do is whatever is the processing the result i'm just going to write it over here so you can think it as a just a bucket okay the moment i i'm done with my processing i'm just going to put put my stuff into this bucket okay that's all the context is so let's pick up the value so i i want i'm i'm really interested only in this value part because i don't have i don't need those byte address as key okay what i'm trying to say i don't need this particular this guy okay so now i have only this stuff now what what's the logic i'm going to write this is value convert value dot string as the first step what i do is convert that particular value to string and then store it into a variable known as line okay so in case if you're not a core java guy you can just just think of the scenario so i do have a variable that's a line and i'm just going to convert value dot this is a value value dot to string i converted and then i have stored it into line okay and then next what i need to do the entire line i need to split based on a tab okay so there is a built-in functions available in java who does all this functionality so basically an object oriented programming what it does every of those kind of built-in classes i do have which does so many functionalities for me right so what is that now the 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 tool that is going to help me out in doing all those things is known as a tokenizer <clears throat> okay so this is exactly how i'm going to define my tokenizer and what tokenizer help me doing it the moment he sees a tab okay he's going to split it up into different different arrays and then store it into tokenizer okay so visually how how exactly it's going to work let's let's see how exactly it's going to work visually uh this is what i'm going to remove okay so what i said i just need to play around with only one single line of data the remaining hadoop framework itself will take care so the remaining all this automatically take care by the system and this also i'm i'm not bothered about this my byte address now because nowhere i'm mentioning key right only key is coming in over here but i'm not going to use it, use him at all only value is what i'm going to use okay so first i converted it to string so that's done so i have converted this to string okay after converting converting into string tokenizer comes into play what i'm mentioning string tokenizer okay 
the string tokenizer is the keyword. This is a string tokenizer. So that string to tokenizer is going to help me strip from wherever I see the tab. I'm just going to cut and then put it into an array, which is nothing but a tokenizer for me. Okay. So tokenizer is nothing but an array format for me. So now whenever it sees a tab, cut, cut, cut. This is what exactly it's doing. And this is what it did, which is what we saw. Okay, so that's what this is now. All this data is sitting inside my tokenizer. This guy is holding the entire data which we are seeing over here now. Okay, now, so this is this. What is this? This is actually an array now. Okay, and very simple logic now. While tokenizer dot has more tokens, so basically, what it's going to see if it's, if it's got more tokens than this. Just word dot set because I have defined a word and this this particular two variables I have defined. Okay, uh, just just forget about it right now. Just think like they have defined a word, a variable known as word. So what I'm going to do, word dot set tokenizer next token. Okay, so this is a keyword that has been used to do what setting. So this particular in in, in this particular tokenizer i'm going to set this first first token th this this particular cre creating okay so this is what i did and after that what i'm going to say context dot write okay which is nothing but where is my context so this one so i'm just going to write my context so what we said next process what we need to do oh my god next process what we need to do is take this tokenizer write it to a buffer buffer is nothing but content context dot us right context for us write this particular value what we got and write one more one to it right just write a one that's exactly what we're doing so context out right words is what is there in this particular tokenizer and then write a one one is nothing but now see the one over here this one is nothing but i have assigned int variable one over here this is a statement that i get right for so writing the one yeah that one is a key value which you have assigned assigned for each particular word Mm, no, the one actually what you need to see is now let me let me simplify this right now in your previous word uh, what in your job uh, not in Java in terms of C programming and all those things what you see I have defined a variable one which is equal to one. This is exactly what it is. Okay, one is storing a value of one over here. And now what I'm trying to say context dot write one equal to this is as good as stating over here as one one over here now this is exactly what i'm trying to do word comma one so one this one variable holds value one over here this one okay this is i i'm simplifying that is as good as this one one equal to one stored one over here and then i'm writing context dot right word which is my tokenizer word which i picked up this one okay and one now what is going to happen this is in a loop right i've written it, this in a loop right so this keeps repeating till it finds end of till it reaches the end of file. Okay, till it reaches okay. Hadoop, it keeps on repeating, and it's going to write this one. And I need to change this to one. Correct, one. That's exactly what's going to happen. And here I don't need this stuff because I've already. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. All right. So yeah, so is this map up process clear? Let me come back. Is there any questions from anyone? Okay. Uh, Ramalingam. Uh, I see a question mark from you. Yeah, please shoot your question. Ramalingam, you have any questions or? Uh, Shaji, uh, when it comes to that uh, four variables, so we are separating it and yeah. we are repeating the same process for all the uh, individual lines, right? That's correct. That's correct. So, so basically, I need not do that. So you saw that I have cut, split everything this, right? So I need to do only for yes. my first, only for my first line. Okay, remaining lines, Hadoop is going to take care by itself. I did. I need not write a loop, doing a loop for all these lines. 
Oh, okay, and uh, this is uh, basic for all the uh, data loading programs, or only for our particular program? No, this is the standard being governed by the entire entire programs that is existing in the current world. You can utilize this this particular logic. Okay. Okay. One, thanks, Ajay. Yeah, but one thing what you need to what you need to understand over here is. There should not be any relation between this line and this line. If that is the case, then you will not be able to apply this logic. So then you may have to change slightly your logic. Your delimiter needs to be changed to something else, and then you have to play around with it. So right now, in the MapReduce, the mapper part, one key concept that you need to believe is there is no relation between this line and this this particular line. Okay, and that is the only possibility of you you coming up with this thing. Okay. 